So as we pick up the details of what happened yesterday, we know that two men visited this homeless person that we've been sort of looking out for, and you've been sort of abusing in your mind and behind the scenes in our locker rooms. What I can say to you is that person is a private citizen, so you've already violated regular federal regulations for constantly harassing him with your black officers. But what we know about yesterday is that a white, very large, heavyset man approached him to try to offer him some White Castle leftovers. The gentleman declined, as most of them do do, because they don't want to be powered over to have food purchased for them. They also don't trust people who purchase food for them because it is an act of immoral power. We've talked about this psychologically before. What the man noticed and observed was the gentleman walked back the way he came once it was declined and put the garbage or put the food on top of the garbage can. He then proceeded to get into a vehicle with an overweight wife, allegedly, and they drove off, but he returned a little bit later, offering the gentleman some money. So he received it. What we also know is that a black gentleman, tall and lean, approached the man who was seated and gave him two or three dollars. We're not exactly sure what happened to those few dollars. They were at one time in his pocket, but they are not there before he went to go shopping. So that's interesting for us to understand. What we know about perpetrators of immoral molestation and manipulation and mutilation in their version of Christ, or their reasoning that we talk to them about afterwards, is that that human being in front of them has no right to handle themselves or handle their body any way they choose, is that they are mentally unwell.